Hey guys, so Jane here from Laser Gaming. This video, I'm excited to bring you a Titanfall 2 sort of trailer breakdown. They released a teaser trailer today or yesterday, depending on when you're watching this or when I end up releasing this video. But I'm super hyped for this game. Titanfall 1 was one of my favorite games ever for about two weeks before I got bored of it. But I actually went back and played the original Titanfall to get you some gameplay before. But don't worry, I will show you the trailer when the time comes. Just want to talk about a few things first. So some new things I want in Titanfall 2 are more weapons, definitely more weapon variety. There are only like 8 base weapons in the game. If there were around 24 weapons, 3 different types of each weapon, along with the Titan weapons, that would be plenty of content for the base game. And really that's all I want. I'm not going to go too in depth into being critical about the game because I really haven't played it too much lately. That's just the real takeaway that I got from it or something that's stuck in my mind for a long time. It's really awesome that it's on all three platforms, PS4, Xbox One, and PC, but I'm going to let you guys have a listen to the trailer on its own, and then I'll hop back in and analyze it after. People like you always want to be the hero. The problem with being a hero is... You have to be willing to die for what you believe in. If I were you, I wouldn't try so hard. You'll live longer. So that was pretty freaking awesome. Um, this is obviously referencing the campaign, probably. It seems as if the protagonist is evil or the voice is the antagonist. Um, and it seems that the person who landed is named James McCallan or something like that because that's the name that's on the pod if you zoom in. It also says Mark Lifeboat there, Mark A. Lifeboat, I think, in really tiny writing, which is a little weird also. So I don't know why it would say that obviously means that there's probably a lifeboat or that you crash landed because you escaped your ship you might be under attack and you're probably alone here and this guy basically comes up to you with the sword and surprise attacks you which is pretty kind of cool i mean the fact that we're getting swords in titanfall 2 is awesome this also references a real campaign something we did not get in titanfall 1 and something that's confirmed to be coming to titanfall 2 a proper campaign it also says no transmission or something like that somewhere which may mean i don't know why that would already be on the pod but that's just something that i noticed and on the sword, it actually says EHR Titanium Series, so that could be the antagonist faction, EHR, and it could be the sword that they make. Uh, the Titan looks pretty cool. It looks more advanced and less clunky than the ones that were in the original game. Hopefully, I'd like to see four to five different Titans in the game, as I believe we only had three in the first game, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't really know what to post of late. I've primarily Battlefield channel, for those of you who are new here, but... My Battlefield videos haven't been getting a lot of views lately, except when I talk about Battlefield 5, which is the next game. But until we get news about Battlefield 5, tell me what you guys want to see from this channel down below in the comments. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share it. But that's what it was. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. You'll live longer.